Welcome to your very first tutorial on beginning HTML. HTML is the bedrock of the World Wide Web. And if you're going to do anything, even in other languages involving the web, it is highly important you know HTML. So let's take a look at some of these bullet points. And again, this is an introductory video. In the next video, we'll actually start doing some code. Now, as you can see in that first bullet point, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. And you might say, wow, what is that? But it's actually very easy to use HTML. HTML is a document that contains text. That's it. It's very easy to read. So it's not like Java, which kind of reads like hieroglyphics. HTML is just a document that contains text. So it's similar to like Microsoft Word or uh, even Notepad or WordPad. So again, it's very easy to read. Now, once you've created your HTML document, web browsers can read and display documents that contain HTML. So Firefox, Google, Internet Explorer, they all do the same thing. They're going to take that document and display it to the user. Okay, so let's move along to the next slide. So it's all about tags in HTML. And as you can see in that first bullet point, all tags have angle brackets. So in that next bullet point, this is a body tag right here with its two angle brackets. And so that by itself is a tag. Now every tag has a closing tag, which is right here. And then we put something inside those tags. So it's like the yin and the yang in the universe. If you have an opening tag, you got to have a closing one. And the closing one right here is identified by this slash. So it's that simple. There's a start and an end. So one's a start tag and the one with the slash is the end tag. Now together with all the tags and whatever we put inside those tags, they are called a markup element. And so basically a markup element is a set of tags that has something that goes inside of it. That's all it is. Now I also want to point out here is we're just using the body tag as an example. We'll be going over many other tags in the other videos. Now most of the HTML code that you'll be doing always has an opening tag and an end tag. But there are a few tags where you don't need to have an end tag and those are called empty elements and we can see this in the next bullet point point. and so if you look at this particular type of tag it has BR there and that stands for a line break so that means you're basically putting spaces between your lines that's all that does but we don't need to put anything inside that it's just creating a line break so it doesn't need an end tag so that's why it's called an empty element so that's basically it it's those two type of elements that we're going to be dealing with now you might be asking what am I what do I need to download for this series and the answer is nothing all you have to use is notepad remember an HTML document is simply a text file so all we really are going to need for this series is notepad now if you want to use another type of text editor that's certainly fine you can use notepad plus plus if you want to follow along now if you want to go ahead and use other solutions such as visual studio or dreamweaver to follow along in the entire series you can certainly do that as well but i'm just going to be using notepad okay that's it for this introductory video i will see you guys in the next video where we will do our first web page